Ladies and gentlemen, Dyeworm here and uh, today I want to announce that I did not get into the YouTube business all these years ago to burn down video games and or developers, alright? But sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you get presented something and you're like, what the hell is going on over here, right? This is absolutely crazy, very weird indeed. Alright, so what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about Naxia and Naxia or Naxia is an indie game it was released in november 2019 and developed by a studio in dubai an indie studio in dubai it's called infinite eight and in dubai uh, they don't have video games right i didn't know this but apparently uh, video games in dubai don't exist because if they did these developers could have played a video game and they would know uh, that you should not release whatever they're building over here right okay so let's let's go back into the past a little bit let's uh, rewind the clock to the end of 2019 when this game was released i made a video about it you know i was uh, as the youtuber i am right back in 2019 i made a video about it and i was not impressed however i wasn't horrified either right it was just nothing special it was a, a wasd movement action rpg uh, you had one character that character had four skills there was a it was a campaign it was about one and a half hours long the the combat was clunky the game was unbalanced in terms of difficulty there was an escort quest in there that you well could basically not complete without being extremely lucky you would die all the time the game was very unforgiving as well not really fun overall not an amazing game but you know early access it was kind of okay i'm like you know if this is your first implementation of the game you know, it's like, you know, you know, you know. So I thought like, yeah, at least we should give these guys a chance, right? Because, uh, yeah, the initial product is not very good. It's not super exciting, but you know, who knows? Who knows? It might, they might, they might turn it into something good. Uh, as time moved by, basically uh, nothing happened. Nothing happened at all until June 2020, where they changed some extremely basic features like randomized loot because believe it or not but the loot was fixed in an arpg in a sort of loot driven arpg it was a little bit like final fantasy 7 right back in the day 1997 where at some point you know exactly which chests give you what item right and after this update in june there was nothing coming out for a very very long time until april this year just for your reference april this year the release was november 2019 we have have progressed one and a half years right one and a half years of game development of a studio consisting of around six people so end of april this year a few weeks ago i get a message from the developer on discord saying that they had another update out and if i wanted to try it now i told them I was a little busy no lifing poe and temporarily abandoning my youtube channel but now after a month of poe i'm revitalizing my youtube channel because it's dead and so i checked out nexia again now, was I excited up front? Was I thinking like, uh, oh, I'm really looking forward to this? No, right? I was not excited. I have very low expectations for this game. Unfortunately, they have not even surpassed these low expectations. Let's talk a little bit about the announcement before this went live, just to give you a little bit of context. The developers have posted an announcement and in this announcement, they mention a few things. First thing is they realize their challenge in, and I quote, to continuously deliver meaningful changes and improvements to the game. Unquote. They aim in the end to deliver monthly updates and right now they have issues trying to deliver updates on a yearly basis so I can't honestly imagine how they're gonna ever pull it off to create monthly updates but who knows. Forgive my skepticism though. The second part is a lot more interesting because they basically deleted their entire game up until this point and turned it into a glorified tech demo that you can play for free. But a lot of people have bought this game right? well not a lot actually just a few people at least at least a few people have bought this game and you know they're not happy <laughs> because i mean you know it's like what is going on here right it's so weird like how can you in one and a half years time basically end up with less content than previously like than one and a half years before that is truly an achievement because they only had one and a half hours of content and now they have even less content like i played for 30 
30 minutes and I was already done with the game. Because this game is so clearly like not developed by anyone who has ever played a video game. And I'm gonna give a few examples so that you understand what I mean. So the first issue that you run into is that the balance of this game is still completely off. You get one shot by level 1 monsters and these guys do an extremely uh, huge amount of damage for some reason I really don't understand why. The combat while it is a lot more uh, fast paced than it used to be it is still really not uh, visceral and you don't really know what is going on. Whether you use a mouse and keyboard or whether you use a controller I played with both for a little bit the skills cannot be rebound and the skills are at horrible places. For example the main attack button in this game on the controller is the right uh, button the right shoulder button which means that you're walking around using the using the left thumb uh, thingy and then you're constantly clicking with your index finger on the right shoulder button to attack this is super unnatural right why don't you do this on an a or an x or if you have a playstation on was that square or cross right how can you decide that your main attack button is going to be the right button and this sounds like a really nitpicky remark right but i challenge you right go out and uh, rebind any of an action game's uh, controller setting and make the main attack the right shoulder button right and see how much you like it you'll be spamming this button because it's your main attack and it's just it just feels so weird and unnatural and it makes no sense whatsoever the performance of the game is also still quite subpar. I had stutters and other kind of stuff in between all the time. And overall, it just doesn't really take you that long to realize that not that much has changed. Everything is a bit more fast paced. The combat does feel better than before, but that is about it. I am honestly extremely confused because I just don't understand how you can basically do this after one and a half years of development. It's like they started all over, which may have happened, and then they decided like, oh yeah, you know, for our next update, we're gonna basically put out a tech demo. We're gonna have a little hub in the town, we're gonna have a mission board, and that's about it have fun with it and also if you just take this thing at face value right you disregard the entire history and you put out something like this it would be impressive if this was a class of like first grade game developers if you have like 10 people 10 students and you say like hey you know you know what we want we want a action rpg game wasd movement and we want to have one dungeon and a few random missions go have fun and a month later they come back and then this is what you get right exactly this then i would be uh, impressed maybe i think like uh, oh yeah you know if this is for is if this is a bunch of students and, and they're in school and this is what they come up with yeah it makes a lot of sense and that's actually quite good right you're like i mean there's a lot of work to be done but fine but this is a game studio i mean maybe they are students and they they turn it into a game studio who knows right if that's the case then then you know just, just study for a few more years and then maybe you know but play a video game too right like play a few video games because that, that's really going to help you that's my biggest advice i think but that's probably not what's going on here right i'm assuming that these are you know actual game developers i don't understand why these decisions were made it is so weird in so many ways i am completely clueless as to what is going on but i don't think i am as clueless as these developers are if they're actually seriously trying to develop a video game because this is nothing like it i don't think i've ever been so harsh and negative in a video i do apologize but uh yeah you, you can try it out yourself right? you can try it out for free uh you can also buy it for 15 bucks i would not recommend you do that i didn't recommend that people did that back in the day at the end of 2019 and i sure as hell don't recommend you do this right now but at least uh, at least you know right at least hopefully you are now aware of what is going on here and um yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say. So I will uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy this content, even though it's super negative, especially for me, uh, you can subscribe. I'm normally a lot more positive, guys. I can tell you that. And, uh, and that's it. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. And I will see you soon. Love you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.